Hey Fabio, thanks for uh, working with us. Okay, so I left you this two inch hitch if you need it. If you don't, then feel free to just keep it over here by that black box, all right? Super important when you latch onto your truck, make sure that's down and this pin is in. I'm not sure of your level of experience, but I'm just gonna go over this stuff to be sure you know about it. So that's gotta be in so that that is locked in. Always be sure that that is locked in before you leave. The next thing you wanna do is obviously plug this into your truck. That operates your lights and brakes. All systems were checked prior to your arrival. This also goes to your truck. You know how that works. And this is your breakaway bar. That's gonna go in as well, okay? While we're standing right here, this is your gas, which operates the heater and your hot water. Keep it off when you're traveling. Turn it on when you get to the campsite because that's going to give you your hot water. Are they full hookups? Uh, yes. Okay, so come on over here. So this camper inside here is where your hose is. And please make sure that those are on tight or they'll fall off. So you're going to take this off like this, like so, and put that on there. Okay, gray is your sink water, black is your is your toilet as well okay so just while we're here as well remember whenever we have all the steps for pulling into your campground this will be in the compartment here but remember whenever you're disconnecting your truck make sure that the tires are chalked so for safety reasons and so forth but all the steps as far as leveling and putting everything together are all on this uh, sheet and feel free to reach out if you have any questions so this will be right here inside of here inside of here you will find your electrical connector cord which is on the other side where we were also your hose connector and the, on the end of the hose is a uh, water uh, valve restrictor which keeps the water flow at the right uh, psis so make sure you keep that on there plenty of blocks for you um, this is a 90 degree that goes on the end of the sewer hose to allow you to um, go directly into the full hookup area. All right, let's check. Uh, sometimes this thing's a little funny. Just make sure that that's latched. Good practice to uh, use the keys and lock that as well. Up to you though. Sometimes when you're going to grab this, this feels like it's locked. You're like, geez, what's going on? It's locked. Take your hand, push on here, and that opens up easy. These steps come down and then you want to make sure they're adjusted right now to where they are if this is too high like that the door will not close and operate properly so make sure that your steps are fully adjustable where they need to be all right now something unique to this camper is the slide out come on in this is super important and we really need you to listen to this part is that when you're operating the slide out, you must be hooked up to your electrical charge. Um, so, you know, have your black wire plugged in and make sure that this camper is, has full electrical hookup. Otherwise, it just doesn't get enough amps and it can slow the slide out out. So slide out. In order to go out, you just push this. Super important. Once you push it, keep your finger on it. Don't stop halfway out. Make sure it goes all the way out and same thing with full electrical power all the way in on your way back in, okay? That only gets used when you are hooked up to electrical power. So, and if it's acting funny for whatever reason, and move this, and so it, like, hey, that's not working right, move this, and sometimes this thing is a little tricky like that. It either likes to be on or off both positions. It'll always work, okay? This one here is for your awning, and this basically, you won't need that's a water pump you're not using that system but this you should use this is your hot water heater so once you come in you plug in your electricity you have everything on hit that that's going to give you that's going to give you the hot water all right this is some uh, led lights inside of the uh, awning they look nice super important about the awning is make sure that that awning stays in for whenever you are not with the camper and certainly at nighttime bring your awning in in other words don't leave the awning out like because weird winds could come out of nowhere 
We don't keep people's security deposit for little scratches and dents, but awnings getting twisted and bent, yeah, we'd have to be in on that together to fix that up, okay? Um, stove is just what you think. That's all the, the way it always works. Um, and then you've got the double bunks back here with the full bathroom all the way back there. Obviously, I'm not going to slide back there with the slide out, um, out right now. So that's kind of how the whole system works. Um, if you have questions when you get here, first of all, um, we keep these sheets in every camper, which kind of tells you everything that we've done with it. But like I said earlier, the setup and breakdown sheets are out there as well, as far as leveling the camper and all that good stuff. I want to show you a couple of other things. Okay, and one more thing. When you're looking to turn on the lights, you just push them on right here, right in the middle. <laughs> So right here, I'm reaching in here and I'm grabbing this and you take and put one of these blocks underneath and lower that. So once you, once you have your camper level, then these are just stabilizing everything and keeping you, you know, from rocking. You want to put your camp, camper as level as possible. The tires, believe it or not, are how you level side to side and that's done by driving over a block. Typically, campgrounds are very um typically campgrounds are very much um you know set up to be able to you know be level and so forth but if you do need to level side to side that's done by driving over block and then front and back what i do is i put the level right here you can see that right now this camper needs to come up and that is done right here so once you're disconnected what you'd be doing is bringing the camper up until you like it's being level you want it level for a couple of reasons it just simply feels more comfortable in there but also the water flow that's how it needs to be level okay yeah like i said keep everything good and safe um you know by making sure that all of your doors are properly secured before you ever get into a camper uh, before you get into your truck and you're leaving make sure you go around and you check Stairs are all the way up. Make sure that latch is shut. Make sure all your doors are shut. Check all of the tires. Um, these tires are getting replaced after this trip, but they're in good shape um, for going to Woodstock. Um, it's something that basically what you always want to have in mind is that you want to be, you know, as safe as possible when you're traveling. We don't want our customers going over 60 miles an hour ever. 93 is going to be moving pretty slow on a holiday weekend anyway uh that's we imagine that's how you go we go to woodstock all the time so just keep it you know 50 55 go nice and easy that's what these that's what these campers are made to do not 70 75. Um, before you leave like i said check everything this particular awning last customer bent it a little bit that's fine just like that don't feel bad that something's off it's, it, it operates perfectly it's a little bracket that i got to order to straighten that out um, I'm going through, I'm making sure everything's set up where it needs to be. Make sure that these covers are on. You look like you're good to go. This is, uh, again, where the electrical is done. I didn't say that earlier. Great. Well, enjoy your trip. And if you have any questions while you're doing anything with the camper, don't be afraid to just give us a call. My number's right here, right on the front of the camper. So enjoy your trip.